super stupid situations number three. Number three. Like Chad Johnson on NFL Street 3. <laughs> Just like that. Or was it like this? It was like this. It was like this. It was like this. All right, here we go. This situation, of course, is another Boy Scout situation. <laughs> hey, bro, when you got a bunch of boys from 11 to 17, shit goes down. No homo. <laughs> Honestly, in this situation, it was completely unavoidable. It was just something that it was a hand hand of God. Let me set the stage for you. It's 2005. ATV Off-Road Fury is huge right now. <laughs> it's 2005. We are at the Boy Scout National Jamboree. Now, if you don't know what the Boy Scout National Jamboree is, it's literally all the Boy Scouts, mainly the ones in the United States, but we have, there's international troops there as well. We all meet up together and just trade ideas, get merit badges, trade patches. It's a huge event, like huge event. So big that the speaker at this event is the president of the United States. Yes. Every time there's a jamboree, the acting president speaks at that jamboree. That's how big of an event it is. It's like 200,000 Boy Scouts and we're in Fort AP Hill, Virginia. This huge military base and it's just tents everywhere. There's so much to do with scuba diving, BMXing, flight simulators, uh, ropes courses, arts and crafts, downhill mountain boarding, leather work, woodwork, patch trading, patch trading, patch trading, and more patch trading. Because <laughs> that's what boys guys do. Fucking trade patch. So it's 2005. We're at the National Jamboree. This huge, huge event for all Boy Scouts. My Boy Scout troop, which is the delegation from South Carolina, we set up our camp. We were in sub camp B. And in our sub camp, it was probably like 10,000 Boy Scouts. Just fucking tents as far as the eye can see in this sub camp. We get out there and we set up our tents. My tent mate was a guy in our troop. I'll say he was my friend. His name was Mark Clay Dantzler. All, all my Boy Scout friends know Mark Clay Dantzler, but for people who don't know Mark Clay Dantzler, I'm gonna give you an image of Mark Clay Dantzler. Not an actual image, I'm gonna create a character so you can know the type of person Mark Clay Dantzler is. So this is my Mark Clay Dantzler. Oh, uh, uh, what's up guys? Uh, 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 my name's Mark Lee. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so that's Mark Lee Dancer. And to clear up some things, he's not Asian. He's black. He just got really small eyes. <laughs> so we just gonna go with that. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so we out there. <laughs> so fucking stupid, bro. All right, so we out there, we've been out there, we're supposed to be out there for 10 days, just camping and shit. So we get a report that we're getting a storm in a couple days. And everybody's like, all right, storm, storm, we know what to do, stake down tents, blah, blah, blah. So the day of the storm comes and it's feeling a little, feeling a little crazy outside. You know what I'm saying? The sky is gray. You know what I'm saying? I get out my tents, a lot of, a lot of little wind action. We like, hold up now. The storm might be a little crazier than we thought. So, you know, we go about our daily business because the storm not really supposed to hit till like five or six that night. So, you know, we go about our daily business and I'm walking around, I'm like, and you can like feel the tension of the sky in the air. You can feel it in your body. Like, it was fucking weird. You can just feel it. You looking up like, bro, this shit about to go down, bro. So, the Scoutmasters call us all back to the campsite so we can start preparing for the storm. And we start preparing, and then you just start hearing this rumbling. Like, this just rumbling. We're like, yo, what the fuck? And then we all turn, and okay, to set the stage for this field we were in, it was just a huge open field. Like, probably like five or six square miles of just open fucking space. And it's all filled with tents. So you can see pretty far off. And you hear the rumbling. We're like, yo, what the fuck is that? And we turn and look, and like, just far off in the distance, you see this, fu this fucking humongous thunderhead cloud. What it called? Cum, 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 cum. This humongous cumulonimbus. Okay, so it's a cumulus and a nimbus cloud. It's cumulonimbus. It's a cumulonimbus. Yeah, god damn it. Fourth grade science, you haven't failed me yet. It's just. It's like a tower of just fucking raw power. Like, it's just black. This huge 
black. No homo. <laughs> fucking tower of cloud just in the sky and it's like a fucking movie you can see lightning strikes just <laughs> just like coming out of it and we're all just like what the fuck <laughs> so the scout masters are yelling at us get everything stay down do you want to die today take the tarps down and after that get your asses in those tents this is a high stress situation and mark clay's just like oh fuck joshua uh, uh, what do we do what do we do i'm like god damn it mark clay get this tent stay down or we're gonna fucking die <laughs> Everybody's just running around. We staking down tents. We fucking tearing down tarps. Throwing them in the tents. Fucking just running around. There's Boy Scouts running around everywhere. In the distance, this just huge thunderhead. Just fucking coming. Slowly but surely, like, I'm coming for you motherfuckers. You about to feel the wrath of Mother Nature today, baby. Oh, yeah. And you can hear it. That's what was scary. You can hear the thunder rumbling. You can hear the wind just fucking whipping across the grass at the point where it's close enough and we starting to feel the gusts the sky is like god damn it get into your tents so we dive into our tents like fucking <laughs> into our tents zip it shut and it's just like <gasps> this storm fucking just whips through this tent city and me and mark clay are in our tent in the walls of our tent because remember they're cloth they're literally like <laughs> Like just fucking going in and out, in and out. And like we can feel the wind pulling the stakes of our tent out of the ground. Like the wind is like trying to rip our tent out of the ground. And I'm like holding this edge. I'm like, Mark Lane, hold that edge. Uh, 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 okay, Judge, I got it. <laughs> so me and Mark Lane just holding this tent down. Just holding it down. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. And this shit was violent, son. And you just hear the wind like, <gasps> Just fucking ripping through the through the campsite, and you just hear thunder. Just fucking striking everywhere, and it sounds like it's hitting like right next to the tent, and we are fucking losing it. I'm just like, dude, I don't want to die with Mark Clay. I, like, I do not want to die next to Mark Clay dance. <laughs> And Mark Clay just over there like, yeah, man, I, I, I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> and it, this goes off about, I wanna say two hours of just tense flap going like this and wind, <laughs> or lightning, <laughs> and Mark Clay, <laughs> two hours of that, and then silence. Just dead fucking silence. And I'm like, yo, I think, I think it's past. I think it's over. I think we can go outside. I don't know, man. We should, pro <laughs> we should probably give it like 30 more minutes. <laughs> we walk outside the tent and it's just fucking devastation. <laughs> just like, <laughs> there is shit everywhere. We had a supply tent that had like 300 pounds worth of supplies in it and we could not find it. Like the spot where it was was just empty. And then uh, our scoutmaster just started walking looking for the tent mile away from our campsite in the middle of somebody else's campsite. He found our 300 pound supply tent. <laughs> this shit was wild. Now on a not funny note, there's some people who actually died during that storm. It was a couple guys from uh, a troop in Hawaii they weren't in our sub camp, but we heard about it later. And they got back to their campsite late and they were taking down a tarp. And the tarps, our tarps usually had like metal poles. And as they were taking it down, they got struck by lightning and they just, they died. And like we had a service for them a couple days afterwards. Biggest condolences to their family. But yeah, people actually died during this storm. It was that wild. And like we still to this day call it the perfect storm because it was just, it was ridiculous. That's super stupid situation number three. Like I said, hand to God, bro. She was wild. Join Americans across our country in extending our sympathy and prayers to the families of the scout leaders who lost their lives so tragically earlier this week. The men you lost were models of good citizenship, leaders who stepped forward to serve a good and selfless cause. 